Hey kids, welcome to lesson 17, our final lesson, building an app, Canvas Painter. Introducing Canvas. Today, we are going to be building a drawing app around a new UI element called the Canvas. Looks like we have a little example here, and the Canvas looks like we can drag it out. Looks like they're giving it a nice, descriptive, meaningful name. And that's about it right now. A canvas is simply a transparent rectangle on which you can draw basic shapes, like lines, circles, and rectangles. In fact, at first you might feel like we're going to end this unit in a way that we started, making turtle drawings, which would be super fun. But don't worry, We'll quickly move into new and exciting things that we can do with this new UI element. We have a do this. Starter code is provided, which places buttons on the bottom of your screen. Ignore these for now. We're going to be using them a little later. In design mode, drag a canvas element into the empty space at the top of your app. Resize it and give it a descriptive ID. Call set active canvas with your ID you assigned it to your canvas which makes it responsive to Canvas commands. Add a giant circle to the canvas. Use the circle command. Make its radius large enough that it goes off the edges of your canvas. Your code should look something like this. We also have our icon down here saying this is going to be part of a very large project, and it is. So make sure you are getting your steps right through it so we ensure that the final project goes smoothly. Well, let's get started here. First thing we need to do is we need to drag a canvas element out here that is going to almost fill up the screen. Let's get this a little more centered. There we go. We also have to give it a meaningful name. They use Canvas Main. I think I'm just gonna stick with that name for right now. This is my big blank painting palette to paint on. Let's go ahead and get started doing some paint. Switching over to code mode here, we need to add a giant circle and our code should look something very similar to this. If we go to Canvas, we see our set canvas ID here. We can drag that in. Would we name it? We just named it canvas main. And that's just calling the canvas. And now we just wanna draw a circle. Where is the circle command? Well, it's right here, right underneath our set active canvas. We drag that in, we can see that the numbers are the X, the Y, and the radius. We're just gonna use their numbers 160, 240, and 200. When I hit run, I should see a giant circle in my screen. Let's see if we're right. Run, giant circle in my screen. Why is it off center? Looking at our example here, it looks like theirs is off-centered as well as ours. So I don't think that's anything we need to take care of right now. Looks much like the example and we use their numbers and I think that's good enough for this exercise. Looking back up to our do this, we in design mode dragged a canvas element over, gave it a really good name. We switched over to code mode. We used a new command under Canvas called set active canvas. We called it with our ID. And then we added a giant circle to the canvas using a circle command that we also just learned. Remember circle is the X, the Y position, and then the radius that you want. Our code looked exactly like their example, both on screen and in the code part itself. I think this is all code.org wants from us. Let's see if they want anything else for this lesson. Nope. Good job, kids. I will see you on the next lesson.